In case you missed it, in August of this year, there were more than 8 billion of us on the planet. Between 7 billion and 8, the difference is no longer felt, right? But how do you like this fact? In 1804, there were only 1 billion people on the planet. But why dig so deep, you may ask? Just half a century ago, in 1974, there were only 4 billion people on the planet. Two times less than now. Isn't it growing too fast? Is it good that the achievements of science so far allow us to solve the question of how to feed and water so many people? But there is another nuance. What to do with so much waste? You would say, not a big deal. I sort the garbage, all my waste is recycled. Hmm, we have bad news for you. As of 2018, Americans produced 292 million tons of garbage. Paper and cardboard make up the majority, 23%. Another 22% are various types of food. Plastic and cans are 12% each. 9% are metals. Wood and textiles are 6% each. Glass, 4%. And now, what is most critical? Do you know how many of them have been recycled? Only 38% of the total. 69 million tons of waste are processed by traditional methods. Another 25 million tons have been composted and another 18 million tons are processed by indirect methods. Where does the remaining two-thirds of all garbage go? Lying dead weight in American landfills. When you sort plastic into a separate bin, what do you think about it? Something like, that's cool, I do care about nature. All such packaging will be so easy to recycle, right? Indeed, paper and cardboard are recycled by two-thirds. But metal objects receive a new life by only a third. Glass and textiles are recycled by a quarter. But what about plastic? In the US, less than 10% of the total is recycled. And this is not a matter of technology development or improvements in the future. The share of recycled plastic is not growing, it is decreasing. According to Greenpeace, only 5% of plastic in the US was recycled in 2021. Globally, this figure also does not exceed 10%. So, why is plastic recycling a myth? Why does 90% of plastic waste continue to litter the planet? Did you know that they only recycle certain categories of plastic? According to Greenpeace surveys among workers of processing plants in the United States, they mainly use only polyethylene terephthalate, or PET, and high-density polyethylene, or HDPE. From the first, they make bottles for water and soda, and from the second, bottles for milk and packaging for shampoo or liquid soap. But what about low-density polyethylene LDPE from which bags, trays, containers and food packaging films are made? Or polypropylene PP from which potato chip bags, microwave dishes, ice cream tubs and bottle caps are made of? Or polystyrene PS from which cutlery, plates and cups are made? or expanded polystyrene EPS from which protective packaging and hot drink cups are made. There is nothing to say they are practically not recycled. Greenpeace experts identify five reasons why this is happening. The first reason is that it is a challenge to collect plastic. What we sort in our homes is just a drop in the ocean of worldwide plastic. The second reason is that it is not possible to recycle all the plastic together. It needs to be sorted into categories, but no one will do it at home. And in factories, it would be functionally impossible to sort out trillions of items. The third reason is that, although it is possible to recycle any plastic in theory, the process itself is often harmful both to the environment and to the personnel of enterprises. Moreover, during the process, toxic chemicals as well as harmful microplastics are produced. The fourth reason is that food-grade plastic can become contaminated with other waste and is no longer suitable for use as a food material. The fifth reason is that plastic with elements of food or those materials that were inside are not always taken for recycling. Yes, some factories sanitize it, but if it gets expensive, no one will do it. Therefore, we, ordinary consumers, are also partially responsible for poor processing. But there is the sixth reason which partially combines all the previous ones. The recycling process is often too expensive, especially if you add to the final cost the costs of logistics of raw materials and finished products. 
as well as the cost of electricity. As a result, the cost of recycled plastic is higher than that of new ones. However, the quality is the same or lower. And now add to these general reasons the conjecture of the global market. For instance, until 2016, China bought two-thirds of the world's plastic waste in Europe and America in order to recycle. But the cost of labor has risen, electricity too, and China began to produce so much plastic that there was nowhere to recycle it. The country therefore introduced a ban on the import of garbage. So the economy beats the environment. Almost always. We produce a lot of new plastic. It doubles every 15 years. But when you hear the word recycling, it has little to do with plastic. So far, plastic recycling is nothing more than empty talk. We believe that in some next videos, we will have an opportunity to talk about startups that will come up with a solution to this problem.